Now, I'll give you a very simplified view of how India is deconstructed. There are secular lenses, uh, which uh, include both enlightenment and post-enlightenment, post-modernism. The enlightenment lenses including things like uh, anthropology, social theory, history, Western feminism, and post-modernism has a whole lot of different kinds of theoretical lenses. And then those who are into the American right, which is very substantial group amount of scholarship, <coughs> use uh, Abrahamic categories, they have missionary agendas, and they either they're appropriating like uh, Christian yoga as being kind of an appropriation, or it's a denigration. So the, there are two, there's the left approaching and the right approaching. Unfortunately, both uh, India is kind of, uh, the study of India is kind of squeezed and sandwiched from both sides. So the study starts with uh, generally looking at caste, minority religions, women and their problems. So the beginning is let's study some problems rather than what are some resources, what are, what are some things they have to offer, what are some things they have already done for, for humanity. So it starts off by prob with problems and then it works its way up. These problems are characterized, uh, considered sort of the foundation of Hinduism which is considered the foundation of Indian civilization which is considered uh, uh, the foundation of an Indian nation state and so the, the problematization is driven in this, in this manner and it works its way up. Some people work at one level, some work at another level, very few really put it all together but if you, if you become a student of how this industry works you will find out that the composite effect is a deconstruction of all of this.